Hello everyone, welcome back to Bring Disney Home. My name is Ben Malin, and this week we are going to do Le Cellier's Cheddar Bacon Soup Magic. We're going to do that. So we are here at Disney's Riviera Resort in a one-bedroom villa, and this is going to be fun. Before we get to it, just a reminder, this video, along with all the other videos we produce, brought to you by the world of DVC, which includes dvcresalemarket.com for buying and selling those contracts, dvcrentalstore.com if you'd like to rent out your points or try before you buy, and monerafinancial.com to make all those financial decisions so much easier for you. Also, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. If you have any needs with booking a Disney Universal, Disney Cruise Line vacation, please reach out to the amazing world-class agents at Dreams Unlimited Travel. It will cost you no extra money. You're gonna get that world-class level of support. They'll plan as little or as much as you want them to do, and you are gonna be in good hands one way or another. So yes, the beer, cheese, the bacon, cheddar, soup, Le Cellier. Um, a staple, a favorite for years. Uh, whether you go to the restaurant or you grab it during one of the festivals, it's there, it's reliable, we know her, we love her, and I'm gonna show you just how easy this is to make. Whether you're at home, whether you're on vacation, this is a good one, and I am so excited to share it with you. Let's get going. Lasilia Cheddar Cheese Soup. This is actually published by Disney Parks blog at some point, and there's even a video of like one of the Disney chefs cooking this for somebody. So. I know when you look at the ingredients list, one of the first things you're going to see is beer, uh, warm beer, and we're going to talk about it, but literally this is exactly what is served at Le Cellier and in the food booth for, uh, for food and wine, so it is safe for everyone to eat. You will start, actually, with that beer. I think we should tackle- you're right. I think they had it for Flower and Garden also. Flower and Garden also? I do think so. Maybe. Yeah. Well, we'll start with that beer. That's first. Warm beer does not mean take it out of the fridge or don't or never put it in the fridge. <laughs> warm beer literally means get it warm. So you have a small saucepan, put it in the back, pour your half cup of beer in there and put it on the lowest heat and just leave it. Because you want that beer to actually be stirred into the soup at the same temperature as the soup. So just let it happen. It's going to work just fine. Um, it's not going to evaporate like into thin air into nothing but it is gonna get out you know, the bad stuff you don't want in there. So the first thing that you'll do is, uh, otherwise is chop up your bacon. And the actual official recipe calls for the use of an immersion blender, which of course you're not gonna have uh, when you're on vacation. If you have one at home, great. If you have one at home and you don't wanna use it, then you don't need to. Just chop everything a little smaller. Uh, this recipe calls for eight ounces of bacon. We had a 12 ounce package of bacon and we, we accidentally used the entire 12 ounces, which obviously is terrible. So we chop, that, chop your bacon up and uh, your red onion and celery. And uh, yeah, that, that's all you need. Um, so, yeah, basically, if you're not going to use an immersion blender or if you don't want those bigger chunks, then just take a little extra time. In another video about onions, I said don't take the time. Take the time. Really take the time. Make sure that they're chopped up finely, especially because this is a red onion, so that's a little more punchy, a little more offensive. So, cook your bacon in the bottom of your stock pot for as long as you want to. Both me and Panda like crispier bacon, so we really cook the heck out of it. And it, oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, and when you are done with that, you will add your celery and onions and four tablespoons or half a stick of butter. And you're going to get that going. Once that all combines, maybe about five minutes, your vegetables will be tender. Add a cup of flour in there. And now we're going to start to make that roux, that uh, base for the soup. Don't let that sit at all. Mind that. Mind every second of it. Be sure that you're there, stirring it in, making sure it's moving. You do not want to accidentally get bread out of this. You're not going to be happy, and who would be? <laughs> Once that's mixed in, um, let it simmer on a very low temperature. Cover it about 15 minutes. The recipe says stir occasionally. I would say stir frequently. Don't forget about it. You want to be there. 
okay? Because you want everything to mix well. The next thing that you'll do is, for, is pour in four cups of milk, and now you're really starting to see this become a soup. That stage before milk, you're kind of like, what is going on in here, right? Trust the process, you're okay, as long as you don't have bread, and it's not browning on one side, you're, you're gonna be fine. Um, but I don't know, what happens if uh, you thought this would be a great idea because last time you went to a DVC villa there was a cheese grater and, and then you realize you don't have a cheese grater. Wait, did you have one at another? Old Key West we did. Oh. And I didn't use it because uh, Fiasco was there and so I said I won't make anything with cheese. And so now he's not here and obviously all the cheese how it works around here okay we, we we pick our fights i guess no <laughs> i'm just kidding we all love him um but yeah so what i did please throw this in Corey. um <laughs> is i basically if you've ever seen a, a a chocolate bar uh how they chop that diagonally one way and then diagonally the other way that's what i did with the cheese that works really quickly it gets it really small really quickly and it makes it easy to keep chopping you can get it really small really fine and the better cheddar you use, the better that's going to be. If you go and you buy that craft stuff that when you pick it up, you can kind of bend it a little bit, have fun. Have fun. Um, but once that's done, your, your uh, milk and everything has simmered for another 15 minutes, pull it off the heat before you put your cheese in. Otherwise, this is not going to work out very well for you. Pull it off the heat, then you'll mix your cheese in. You'll mix your... Worcestershire sauce in and your hot sauce. This recipe calls for Tabasco. The happiest accident in the world happened today at Publix when they were out of Tabasco. But they had Texas Pete. And I had to. But but seriously, Texas Pete is a more versatile hot sauce. Um, and in terms of it being kind of spicy, if you and your kids or your family or whatever can't handle too much spice, I believe... Tabasco sits around 2,500 Scovilles and Texas Pete is at 750. So like, just use that and it's funny. So why wouldn't you? Mix those two in and then you'll pour your warm beer in, get everything mixed. And the last thing you have to do is salt and pepper to taste. That thing is not gonna go back on the stove. It doesn't need to. It's ready to eat as soon as it's seasoned and you're happy. So it's seasoned, we're happy. Let's see how it tastes. Uh, excuse the sleeveless look. We're in pajamas by now because we've been doing this for a while. But let me tell you, it smells so good. Let me see. I, I know what the Canadian cheddar cheese soup tastes like. So I'm going to tell you how close we got it. Actually, I think it's better. I do. Hold on. I say I was, I was full and I didn't want to eat anymore. Oh my God, this pretzel bread stuff. I do it all over my beard. New York's are pretty good. My God. I think that aged cheddar that you use is better than whatever they're using in the park. But I mean, it's you can tell it's it's that. It's absolutely that, but one step better because of that. He bought this cheddar that was a thousand days aged. It's really good. This is great. You're gonna agree in a second. <laughs> we, we, are, we are very tired. <laughs> Look, there's nothing left. Okay. Um, wow. So that hits you on a couple different levels, doesn't it? Yep. Like at first it tastes really good, but it's almost like there's an entire different layer underneath that hits you again and again. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, it's that cheese. I think what else? Do you, yeah, the, the yeah the. So I tried to follow as closely as I could, and that included using the Moosehead Pale Ale, and I tried to use the exact cheese that they apparently use. Couldn't find that at Publix. Like I said, in every other video, we do get our ingredients from Publix, and Publix will deliver to you. So we're going with what we got. And so I did find, I used a boar's head Canadian uh, sharp cheddar that said it was aged over a thousand days. And, whew, yeah, you, you can tell. Um, I'm very glad. I wanted to make it as authentic as I could, and I am very happy that I did that because this, this is fantastic. And ah, what else do we say? This one I will finish.
because I think I think we earned it. <laughs> That's gonna do it. The big cheese, the soup of all soups, the cheddar bacon soup from Le Cellier. We've had a great time. Thanks so much for joining us. That tasted really good. I think I'm gonna have more maybe tomorrow. Um, but if you like this video, if you like the stuff we've been doing, please leave a like on this. Please make sure that subscribe button, please click that bell. That really helps us out so much. And we can keep doing videos like this. Also, please, please meet us in the comments. Let us know what you thought. Let us know any questions you have, anything that you'd like to see us do. We would love to tackle it. If you want to reach out to me personally, I am a local baker here in Orlando. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on right now. I'd be so happy to help you. If you have any questions about anything that we've been doing on camera, any recipe um, needs, any cooking tips, reach out to me. I'll be there. If you want me to ship you some baked goods, deliver them to your resort. I've been doing all of it. So I am so happy to help. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for joining us. Let us know what you want to see, and we're going to keep doing this. We're having so much fun. Take care. See you next week. Bye-bye.